for their reports. What we see is what we report. We are the aim of creating good social economic relationship between the Nordics and the between the Nordics and Uganda. Uh, the UCN managed to scoop its goals and I guess everything was a success. Among the special delegates we had from Uganda was Honorable Samuel Ngora who represented the Vice President from Uganda and he believes people from the Nordics and Uganda should have a good mutual understanding. This and all my words, but his words. Uh, delegates, my name is Honorable Samuel Ngola. I'm here standing for the Vice President of the Republic of Uganda with a special keynote address to all the members who are here in this very important meeting. Uh, the government and the people of Nordics, the representative of the Speaker of Parliament among the members of Parliament who are here, the Honorable Ministers in the Government of Uganda, many were supposed to come, they have sent their representative and apologies. Our members of Parliament and my colleagues who are here. Your Excellency the Ambassador of Uganda and Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Finland and Ireland. Director of Uganda Revenue Authority Representative. The Chairman of Uganda Convention Nordics. Mr. Morten Loon and other Nordic business community, the Uganda diaspora in the Nordic countries and beyond, members of the business community, all friends of Uganda, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone back home wishes you a happy and meaningful stay in the Nordics. Those who are participating in the convention are happy to meet and exchange business related their courses with you with the hope that plenty will come from the our interaction and I all the Ugandans in the Afro to continue hosting high Ugandan flag in this part of the world. In a special way I would like to extend deep appreciation to all friends of Uganda gathered here, the government and Nordic people for us in Uganda living in Northern Europe, this being a global village, we all appreciate the interdependence existing among various countries and people. I therefore urge Nordic Uganda to continue living amicably in your adopted homes. Ladies and gentlemen, this convention is aimed at exploring business opportunity between our Uganda and the Nordics, attracting FDIs from the Nordics to Uganda and strengthening the decades old social, economic and diplomatic relationship existing between our countries. I am happy to note that this convention is acting as a crucial engine in promoting all these ideas which everybody gathered here is committed to achieve. It is no longer fashionable for the South to depend on the North for economic survival as many other speakers and scholars rightly observe. What Africa needs and what indeed Uganda needs today is not a but fair trade with other countries. I want to assure our brothers and sisters in Nordic that there is a lot of Ugandans can offer you and I believe there is much we can benefit from the cultures, all experience and these countries socially, economically, politically and culturally. The last 26 years also a previous Uganda on a firm road to sustainable development. With an idea, peaceful environment, live market base, which extends into our sub region in South Africa. Strategic geographical position and abundance of human and natural resources. Uganda's pride is in our potential in terms 
into an economic powerhouse in the very near future. What this convention should serve all of us is to mobilize Ugandans and friends of Uganda in Northern Europe to embrace the business opportunity that exists in Uganda and begin contributing to the development of our motherland. During previous convention, I pointed out the following as a crucial area that are fertile for investment in our country. One, infrastructure development with emphasis on roads, railways, and air transport. Two, the energy sector, notably hydroelectrification generation and petroleum industry. Three, value addition in the agricultural subsector. Four, fishing. Five, mining. Six, various service sectors. The challenge that's facing all of us is to translate words into action. I hope this particular convention has helped us to focus on specific outputs and identify tangible projects in pursuit of our desire to promote business linkages between Uganda and the Nordics. Time is gone for talk shows. We should embark on identifying and opening up markets and participating with Nordics, businessmen and women with a view of spoiling businesses and trade between our countries. I wish to inform all of you that Uganda enjoys a fully liberalized economy and government encourages public private partnership in a number of ways that are geared towards developing our country. Government has also guaranteed and secured an idea, an ideal business environment where everyone can do business, make profit, and live happily. During your stay in these countries, Uganda Nordics must have appreciated the vision of the people in these countries. I urge you to listen attentively to the business tips of the likes of Morten Loon and other business people. This will share with you knowledge on how to make a breakthrough. We want you to bring such knowledge back home to promote our businesses, investment and service delivery. I thank everybody for an a fortunate welcome according to us and for having the foundation for business linkage between the Nordics and Uganda. For God and my country, Edward Kiwandoka Sekende, Vice President of the Republic of Uganda. <clears throat> and he has asked me to ask the delegation through the chairman that because of the budget and because of the time, uh, the government of Uganda is giving a pledge of $10,000 to work this organization. So when I go back, they will send it to your chairman. And that's the organization. I thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Sam Ngola. Ten thousand dollars. Dollars. Yeah. Towards this event. So next time, what kind of venue are we having, Chairman? <laughs> yeah. We'll have an upgrade next time. Yeah. So we want to welcome you all back, so you can see what kind of upgrade we'll be taking everybody to. We just want to thank you very much, Honourable. Um, at this moment, I just want to pose a question. But before I pose that question, I would like to welcome Mr. Bill Jami Katsine. Yes, yeah, he agrees with the name. <laughs> 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 Mr. Bill Jami Katsine, Vice President of the Republic of Uganda. Thank you very much. Mr. Bill Jami Katsine is going to speak to us about harnessing solar energy. And I'm